Now, though, the Britain's Got Talent judges, they all got together yesterday on the red carpet as the show and its newest and sassiest judge, Bruno, returned this weekend. The biggest party on telly is back! And you know what every great party needs? Cupcakes! No! Talent! There's no feeling like it. Never know who it's gonna be. Or when it's gonna happen. When it does, it just feels right. TVT. Exactly. Fun. Bruno is here and we're talking positivity. Yeah, positivity fun. and fun, you Absolutely. know. Give people what they want. So you've been asked back, so it was fine. Oh, he's, he's fa <laughs> everything is fantastic, my darling. It couldn't be better. I know, you look as if you are having the time of your life. Is it because, I mean, apart from the fact you're loving seeing the acts, but there's a live audience there. I love and that. And you're reacting they, with them all the, the time. Uh, the audiences are the life of the show. We always sure. say, actually, Simon and I, all of us said, they really are the fifth judge. They are right. so involved. Yeah. The energy is incredible. I mean, mm. there are thousands of people that are there cheering up, disagreeing with the judges, interacting with the judges. Sure. I mean, I, it's crazy because I was saying to her, I, this show, I feel like I'm participating. I know what you mean. Is, 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 you know I mean? I, we are all part of an entity that is bigger than us and we have such a great time doing it. And the talent, yeah. I have to say, it really is inspiring. There is out there so much talent that needs to be explored, sure. seen. And this given is one an of opportunity. The, yeah, it's one of the few shows that actually does that. Yeah, but it's gone. Because back in the days, <laughs> we know, there used to be clubs of course. around the country, lots of little venues where people could actually get known, they could mm. practice their skills, they, they learn so much mm -hmm. about performing live. Yeah. And if you, without Britain Got Talent, you wouldn't see these people. No, that's true. And, and the thing about it is, you never know what you're going to get. Oh, my God. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> because some of them are, I mean, to be honest, you're like, what is going on here? <laughs> it really is. Yeah. But it's Insane. good fun. It's, it's been good. so much I love fun. the fact that you enjoy it so much. We do have a golden buzzer there. Oh, yeah, something... You... Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah. At least I didn't break this one. <laughs> you didn't break that First one. First day. First day. First day. I know. You broke I it. just whacked it and it just... It, it kind of... It broke. It did break. And they didn't have another one. Oh. <laughs> so they had to stick tape. So you see this thing. I love you that. think of it. You think, but it's never happened. Well, before. that one's more robust. It's very robust. That's robust. Yeah, very so that's nice. fine. So that was a good start that that's you did that. That's a good that, start. Good. Trust but me. You, you and Simon Cowell. Now, he's an enigma, is Simon Cowell. But you probably know him better than anybody else. You've known him for, what, 40 years? He I know him since back. the early 80s. Yeah. I was with friends of him and his family. But for proper friends. Proper. Not I mean, showbiz friends. But no, it's proper. before we all were successful. Exactly. I mean, I, I, he, he worked, you know, there's a, it's like it's a bit like Victoria. You think that things have been hand, handed to him. Mm -hmm. Simon worked very, very hard to get to where he's at. Sure. As you know, for you. years, you know, he, it wasn't just, you know, something that happened. Okay, here's your biggest star in the world. No. He, there's a lot of work that's gone into there, and he deserves all the success he yeah, has. No, and I just, know. We just saw a little picture there. You, you had uh, Easter Sunday with him and the family. Oh, I mean, my God, yes. That is it, at his house in Malibu. We had a <laughs> wonderful, wonderful day. Very relaxed, chatting. It was no work. It was just like normal people. Yeah, you're just having a blade. Yeah, just having stuff. a lovely relaxation. Because event. you've got you you've got this thing of, of course, this this life of travelling from the states Angeles, over yeah. here. The way that some folks get the bus into their work. Well, for many like, years, yeah, uh, but that was unsustainable. I did it up until the pandemic, and and because I loved the show, I loved Strictly, yeah, and you were I loved strictly Dancing, and dancing with, with the Stars, stuff. and it, it it I was just it came to a point where this I can't do this. Mm -hmm. Len stopped before me, and then uh, I just couldn't do it anymore. As, you know, and I still do Dance with the Stars in, of course, in America, of course, so I'm still part of the show. Yeah. But this, it gives me, it's so different for me doing this. Mm. I, it's a different, it, it, what you do is really, is it, a completely different way of doing it. Mm. For me, anyway, mm. I do it my way, and it's yeah. really being part of it. Yeah. You know, and being inspired by it. Uh, but also some... encouraging. That's and the thing yeah, you encourage people to, to, to go for their dreams, to reach for the stars. Yeah. To just don't let anything stop you. You know, yeah. you're, there, you're here once, you know. <laughs> so 
make your time worthwhile. That is very and wise. never, ever give up. Very wise. Never give up. Well, that's what I think. If you, if you want to do it, don't, you know, obviously, we, in some ways, rejection is not a, the worst thing in the well, world. Well, no, it's the best thing. That's because what I learned you, from. You overcome it. But, you but all of us, see me, Simon, all of the guys, we had a lot of rejection, and it was absolutely right, because you have to work harder to... You may have the talent, but you need to... I had to learn languages. I had to become a better dancer. Yeah. I had to do singing lessons because I failed auditions in shows mm. till I got better and then I even sometimes it never happened I got off a recording call <laughs> <laughs> can you I mean that but ne you see what I mean yeah. it, it doesn't mean that you actually people have to understand that you learn from failure yeah that's very it's true it's very very important and it's nothing okay. is handed to you exactly you have to want it and you have to work at it exactly oh you're a, you are a wise man I am but I've been around a bit <laughs> And I had a lot of experience in the business, and I love what I do. Yes. But there is the misconception that, you know, everything is handed out to you. Mm. Nothing in life is handed out to you. No. You're not due anything. That's true. You, but you have in, within your, yourself all the elements to achieve what you want. Work at it. And if something is not quite right, you fix it. See? That is wonderful. Take that. We'll, we'll all take that. But one. The other <laughs> like a bit of wisdom. No, it is a bit of wisdom. Uh, Britain's Got Talent starts this Saturday at half past seven, and you can all see it on Sunday as well. You get a double dose at seven at forty on ITV One, of course. Thank you. Oh, he's, oh I, I, I could go on. Listen, <laughs> the energy is wonderful. I mean, I, I, it's great. It's like thank you, you, you so ping, much. like that. Thank, thank you so, you so, so much. much.